it's really a big deal for a lot of our customers because so many products in our industry, almost all the products in our industry, are manufactured overseas, uh, and. A lot, of, a lot of American companies manufacture products and assemble them here, but they're still doing their metal work overseas, or they're still doing their circuit board assemblies overseas. And for us, we wanted to step up to the challenge to see, can we do this start to finish and do it all in America? And I'm very proud to say that we've been able to do that through our partners uh, here in Tucson and on the Navajo Nation. It was really against all odds. People told us that you were going to have to go to Asia. You're going to have to go to Asia. You're going to have to make this in China. There's no way that you can do this here. The economics aren't going to work um, and so forth. But we just wouldn't take no for an answer. And we searched for partners for the, for the fabrication and eventually the circuit board manufacturing. And, and, and we've been very fortunate. One of our best uh, suppliers is uh, to Diné. I am a Navajo. Um, in our culture, we, we, we have a clanship system where we identify ourselves through our clan. And, <clears throat> and I would say that in, in our native tongue is meaning I am of the mud people clan born into the edge of the water people. Currently, I've been employed here. I started my ninth year with Todene industry. Uh, a lot of people say Todene industry, but in our culture, in our native tongue, we would say Todene industry. Um, we've got a very skilled workforce. Um, it pretty much falls back to our ancestor days where we did um, intricate work of jewelry, um, assembly work of um, turquoise, and kind of relates to what we do here. We do intricate soldering, assembly, forming, putting things together, and uh, making a beautiful finished product, which instills quality into our culture also. And I see that in our people that are hands-on assemblers that um, we provide instructions to, and we fabricate to the customer's requirement. All my working life, I've worked on the Navajo Indian Reservation, helping my people get through the obstacles of all the activities of manufacturing. We, we took bids from all over China, from Mexico, um, and from uh, one of the bids came in from the Tutane, which is the Navajo Nation, the Native Americans up north uh, here in Arizona. Uh, and it was, it was really a, a no-brainer decision for us because the primary investor in cloud microphones is a Vietnam vet. And when it came time uh, to choose, it, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't choose anything else. I mean, the man bled for this country, and he said he's going to keep the money and the jobs here in this country. And it was a great, great idea. I think it's time that people wake up and start manufacturing on a, in a sustainable way. There's the human factor to all this, and that's what is so important to us at Cloud Microphones. And that is why we have been determined to keep our manufacturing as local as possible and within the United States. And we've just been really excited to be able to work with Tudene on the Navajo Nation. Um, we couldn't ask for a better partner. We've had great experience working with the U.S. Commercial Service um, and as a small company and a new business, it's, it's really been a great catalyst for success for us, especially uh, breaking into new markets overseas. We have new distributors in France and uh, sales are, are going up in Germany and throughout the European Union. So we've really tried to use as many of the programs that were available to us as we as we can and it's really paid off in a big way seeing those international sales going up seeing those shipments hundreds of units going out the door and overseas into new markets because it's helped us as a small um, basically local company here in Tucson Arizona to reach out across um, international borders and uh, we're, we're basically on every continent at this point. In fact, uh, our international sales have grown by 427% in the last two years that we've been working with the U.S. Commercial Service. 
and they're continuing to grow.